You guys, the greatest show on earth is what we did in LA a couple of months back. It was Tiger Belly Live. It's so great. And we are coming to a city near you if you live in Dallas, um, what's that, Austin, or Seattle. Those are great <laughs> cities. You guys, <laughs> Bobby Lee and Kalila live, right? We're doing our game show live. Um, it's going to be the greatest time of your lives. It's intimate. Um, we're going to love each other. Uh, you're going to love us. Tell us. Hit the you, link below. You guys, oh, yeah. honestly, like not to toot our own horns, but this is quite possibly the most interactive, most fun show you'll go to in a really long time. So um, Dallas, Austin, Seattle, we're coming for you. So go to TigerBellyLive.com and get your tickets now. Yeah, all my friends are people that I've known since high school, basically. Same here. Mm -hmm. And the kind of hasn't changed much. Mm -hmm. Same well, he checks a lot of boxes. Right. What are the boxes? What are the Asian. Boxes? Yeah. Asian. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Mm. Why the question mark? I don't, I don't know. I mean, why the question mark? Because I'm always. really questioning. It. Are you? Is David so cool? So is he cool? <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. No, that's not it. David, why is your face so perfect right now? Yeah, it's kind of. Let weird, me tell you something. It's so clean. I'm annoyed that you even asked that. No, because I see him at the gym all the time, and he does not appear this way. Well, number one, I use lotion. <laughs> okay. Number two, I showered. <laughs> when, whenever you see me at the gym, completely undone. Just woke up, went straight to the gym. That's not what same, she's saying. Same. First of all, that's not what she's saying. No, it's it's almost as if honestly, can I say something? Like it's almost like you did like a full Korean skincare regimen. I do. <laughs> we'll say that. Just for one day. Uh -huh. uh, so during the time, so I stopped doing the skincare regimen for like two months, and then my skin started slowly becoming like trash again, and then uh, I re upped on everything. <laughs> Lady got me all done right. So the, the wife is the one that gets me on the skincare regimen. Mm -hmm. And so it just. I just keep my sh trash, dog. And yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're real, <laughs> real romantic. You know, real you, man, you know what you look like? You look like you went to Korea uh -huh. and got sur surgery yes. done. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But it's also the Botox. No. Botox. Fast. Your skin is um, pop culture. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Korean pop. Mm -hmm. pop. It, your skin is pop culture. Pop, yeah, and K pop. K pop. <laughs> pop, pop. All right? You did something. And my let me wife? say something. I'm offended. Okay, let me tell Hi, you. Hi, Tim. Good to see you. Good to see you. My wife would be really happy right now <laughs> hearing all this because this is all her work. Because she did it? Because she Hell did yeah. it. yeah. I've been trying for years with him and never... It's, well, you, what they say about like skincare regimen, like once it's too far gone, you can't reverse back. So it's, really it's just, it's oh, just is what it is. So what you saying? You're fine. No, your face, <laughs> <laughs> your face reminds me of like we could like, you know, use you in like a movie. Oh, for sure. Like the killing fields. As <laughs> With no makeup, just like that's the guy, right? You just, know what? Hey Tim, come out of the hut. It's on fire, <laughs> right? With no makeup, and just say whatever. You know what I mean? But you, you can't be in the killing fields. No, you're too pretty. You're too pretty. Oh, I, nobody has ever called me pretty. That's for, I had headshots today. This is the only reason why I have this clothes on. Other than no, that, so this fool, I shoot with him all the time. He never gets dressed past. A, he never puts pants on. And this, I was like, oh, for Bobby Lee, you put off. <laughs> Boots? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I noticed that. How many times have I been on this podcast where I just was trash? None. Okay. You wear the nice stuff. You look wear the nice you stuff. You look great too. Well, that's funny. What do you mean? That was a good attack. That was not an attack. <laughs> that's not I haven't seen you in long. Why are we starting like this? Come back. Because you're doing I didn't this. Do it. You just said no because you're I, doing it right now. I didn't do yes, it. You are. She no, I didn't do it. Because, what did I do? Because she brought up your face and then I didn't like your position. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's because you still I, I, you know why? I, you know why? I, I, it's because you're still in love with her and you didn't like I love her so Whoa. much. It's and I am in love with her. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I, I am in love with her. Confuses the I love fans. her so much. Yeah, that's, that's why you didn't like her complimenting another Korean yeah. man. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you with another Korean? Are you with another Korean no, right now? Wow. another Korean. Oh. No. Uh, wow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Don't be with another Korean. We work out together, too. We do. I, that doesn't make me jealous. All right. That's okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Because you've, you're beyond man now. <laughs> <laughs> you're beyond man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not, you're not a male anymore, dude. What are you talking about? You're not about? a female, but I'm just saying you're beyond it. Trans. No, you look not real. I mean, honestly, I mean, this look, exactly look, the same. Look, this guy, look. David, his style has changed. He's wearing a t-shirt. That's real. That's look the that. real David. That's the real David. <laughs> you look so, fucking dude. sexy right now. What's going yeah. on? Chunky face. I literally just had headshots this morning before I came here. No, no, no. And you had cologne on. You don't ever smell good for me when we shoot, dog. Yeah, yeah today you smell nice. You got layers on. Yeah, Tim, get him.
Yeah, yeah, dude. Give you me a smell good. Yeah, I get him, dude. I'm you glad you brought this handsome. guy. You handsome. Your skin is amazing, yeah, I bitch. I don't like this. Yeah, it yeah, makes yeah, me yeah. very uncomfortable. Uh, okay, so um, Tim, Tim, are you a uh, jungle Asian like me? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm Thai. Yeah. See, you know what? I think I never said anything happening. about. This is what's never said anything. You about. only compliment the other Korean in the room. Mm, I just yeah. said that this guy was like, you know, a movie star. Killing Fields. <laughs> <is what we're laughs> killing I just Field. called him a movie star. You called me the rough Danny Trejo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, that'd be great. You know, you'd be in a Thai prison movie, mm. right? And you're like the leader. Yeah, right? I mean, I'm down. But then you change. You find God and you change. Yeah. Right? So you used to drill people in the butt <laughs> you know, in prison. Okay. <laughs> Not the first half. The yeah. first, wait, the first two acts is him just drilling people? Just you're the, they call him the driller. <laughs> yeah. Thai driller. But, you know, they're Asians, so they call him diller. <laughs> <laughs> right? The diller coming. The diller coming, right? Yeah. Like, you're a lady <laughs> boy. Right? And then when you're pumping once... You look out the you know the, the window yeah there's a little window and you see God Jesus floating Jesus flying with his, his Jesus wings gay dude <laughs> <laughs> in this movie is gay right. <laughs> right because we want to be like uh, to, uh, to inclusive times. Inclusive. inclusive and we want to be you know maybe it's trans Jesus ooh let's make it real you know, what, what's wrong I'm watching you yeah and then you have a spiritual awakening uh -huh. right and then you stop people from doing that then I'm not drilling anymore <laughs> now I'm, I'm making love. No. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. oh so yeah. instead it's of a Netflix series now, it's ten episodes. Oh, that. Well, <laughs> right, well let's have an executive. Okay, we can make it a series. Okay. Thai and beef. then you start like making love to people or just one person. People. Everybody. Oh, but people did get jealous, no? Not Thai people. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all just oh, love I, out yeah, there. Yeah. Dude. yeah. He can speak Thai too, you know. Yeah. And I'll put Pretty you in the cool. movie, but just people they'll be like, "Who's this Hollywood guy?" Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You get a K-pop star to play a fucking. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? I love it. <laughs> That's what's going on. I love it. We're, we're not okay with the vision in yeah. front of us. It's a little bit like... You've changed, it's bro. It's literally one day. <laughs> just one day for headshots. That's and it. his bulge is going crazy underneath the <laughs> table right now. Like it's like I have no bulges. He never bulge. bulges around me. And today, that motherfucker is bald. You, you ate cheesecake off my backhand these <laughs> days. Uh, okay, and? <laughs> Wait, let's do a proper intro. That was all that. No, that's, <laughs> we're gonna keep all that. In. Um, we've got my Hollywood friend here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next, you know, who's the next? This next Steven Yoon. Whoa! Wow. He's canceled, so no. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious though. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Everybody's getting canceled. Davey, so right. give him a round of applause. Wow. And um, you know, this next guy, I, I I can't even believe you haven't done this podcast. Be <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You you Continue. Guys, you interrupted. You guys made eye contact. No, I just didn't like you, you. You know, when I was talking about you just now, you looked at me like um, I was about to say something negative. Well, no, I was gonna say that I also don't believe. Like, why? How come? Why has it been so long? Like, yeah, George, how come? Yeah, George, because you wake up at one p.m. That's why. Well, I I also read like a couple YouTube comments years ago. They were like. Bobby Lee hates Tim. <laughs> Ooh. And I was you like, You guys did videos together at Maker before, right? We did like a, a sketch a long time ago. Did uh, you guys have to ever like compete for the same roles? Because that would be like the hilarious. root of it. You know what's fucked up? One time I sent an audition for something and then they sent me the script again for whatever reason, but they sent 10 scripts. And I was like, what, what, What's going on here? And they had labeled every actor that they had sent it to on accident. And it, one of them was Bobby Lee. Oh, well, that's it. I didn't I get it. That. Neither did I. <laughs> so I don't know what you're doing. So don't worry. <laughs> Neither did I. Tim, I have a hard time pronouncing your last name. I'm going to try, all right? Oh, try, wow. Try. Tim Trongsu. <laughs> perfect. Almost. <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, Chan, Chan Trongsu. Chan, 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 Chan Trongsu. Chan Trongsu. Cha, Tim Chan, Chan Trongsu. Chan Trongsu. What is happening? He's dyslexic. I, Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Really? no yeah, he has a hard time. For reals? Yeah. Read something. Read, read that thing in front of you right now. Which one? Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just, and, I just don't know which one. Span. Are you for real dyslexic? Are also, it's a stan span? No. Naps are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, doc. His real name is Bobby Eel. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> his real makes name. Sense. <laughs> but Tim, I, uh, I've always been... <laughs> Can you be Bobby Eel? <laughs> That's really That's funny. So That's funny. That makes sense. Really funny. Why has never anyone ever thought of that before? That's oh, so yeah, funny to me. Bobby Eel. 
Yeah, Bob Eel. Bob yes, Eel. Bobby Eel. Oh, Bobby Eel. Okay. Yeah, uh, but I wanted to come in and squash the. I was like, does Bobby Lee? Hate no, no, no. <laughs> First of all, what, do you, what are you talking about? I don't know. I read. Like, what are you talking about? I read YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never said that. <laughs> Dude, he's yelling at you. He well, hates you. I know. I don't, no, I don't hate him. I don't hate him. <laughs> I, know. Yes, I hate you yes, right yes, now yes. for doing that. Why? I, know, I love you. But okay. my point is this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is that why would I say that? Have I said that out loud? Never. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> texted me last I, night. I think, I, I think maybe have I said it privately? <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, what I want to say is, is that maybe there was a time where. <laughs> oh, my God. This already sounds bad. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm trying to figure out where that even might even happen. Yeah, you told me you hated him though. <laughs> <laughs> love this guy. No, it dude. was literally. Gotta like, love this you guy. Did, I never said yes, that. You texted me before I came here, and you I, said, "Find the text. Find huh? the text." Okay, I'll find. <laughs> it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phones in my car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Because um, I think the only reason why I would say that, right? <laughs> if I said it at all, which I don't think I did. Okay. <laughs> all right. You seem so unsure, dude. It's freaking. Yeah. It was like one comment. Well, then it's crazy. I know. I didn't it's believe it. Oh, then I'm not going to say what I'm about to say. No, no, say it. <laughs> okay, no, say what you're no, going to say. Why would I say what I'm about to say? Uh, yeah, no, no, say no, 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 how about you say it? Yeah. He'll tell you the comments. I'll say it. Maybe I'll say it. Yeah, say, say it. it. All right. If, okay, let's suppose you said it was 100 people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hypothetically. All right. right? <laughs> then my reason, my thought would be, um, maybe there was a time where when I was on Maker, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And when I was on Maker, I I couldn't get anyone to watch my shit. Oh, I, I asked George, right? I mean, you had all these guys like you and um, Kasim G. All these people are doing well, you know what I mean? And I just and I you know I was this Hollywood guy who was on a show trying to do internet stuff, and no one liked it, and I got kind of driven out of Maker because I just couldn't get a fan base there, mm. right? And so and I know that you were popular, mm. right? So maybe. At that time, I said... Maybe just talking shit. No. I think probably complimentary. Like, I'm super talented, but why the, <laughs> why the fuck, you know what I mean? You know, can I get my shit going? Well, what, you know? When I was trying to think of why Bobby Lee might hate me, uh, even though I didn't really fully believe it, I was thinking the only sketch I ever put you in... Like, I ended up privating it because I didn't even like it anymore. Oh, I'm trying years. to find it. So. It was No, no, it's, oh. it's gone. It was like... It was like, um, who's the most Asian Asian? Oh, and it right, was right. It was a, during a time where I was like, if I call this shit a stereotype, if I call it out as a stereotype, I'm not being stereotypical. I'm making fun of the stereotype, right? But looking back, because it was shit like, oh, who can, I don't know, eat the most rice and who like shit like that. I remember that. Yeah. That. Oh. So I look back and like now I'm like, uh, is this actually kind of just gassing up a stereotype? I, do I still find this funny? Eh, you would man. never care about that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care about it. But, I, you know, I was like, oh, did he think it was like a, some hacky bit? You know what I'm saying? So I, I, don't, think, like, I don't think about that. Yeah, well. Yeah. I, I just do what's in front of me and I um, do the best I can. You know, I didn't... Uh, I just remember working with you. It was a pleasant day, you know? I, we had a great day. You yeah. put a, a whole foot in your mouth. I remember that. What? Oh. Yeah. I <laughs> you, can do, you can do that? How do you do that? It was like, I forgot what I wrote in the actual script, but it was like, it was supposed to be massaging some girl's foot. And all I remember was a take where his whole foot was in this girl's mouth. <laughs> his, oh, his foot was yeah, in the girl's. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is she yeah. okay? No, wait, no, wait, no. Her foot was in his oh, mouth. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I yes. was well, like, yeah. why is this crazy? crazy? Yes. Well, you know, it's it's got things in it. We know that. <laughs> what are you saying? John not might have even filmed it. No, no, no. no. Well, what are you saying? John not filmed it. Filmed it. So, yeah, it's so crazy that you know jo George was around that time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. I, you know, I've known these. I, I met these guys in, at Maker. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, Maker wasn't wow. a wash for me. I, I you know, I, I got connected with people and stuff like that. But and, and would this podcast and I don't think my career would be as going great without George. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's the first time I think I've heard you compliment him. Well, I kind of need him. That was amazing. Okay. <laughs> I, All right. I, I, need a ally. I, I need an ally. That is yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I, you, know, you, you know, you. I've had a tough month, so you kind of, you go, who are the people I trust and who can I rely on and lean on? And then you just kind of go, all right, well, that's going to be my base. You have big, a big circle or a small circle? I have a very small circle. I, I, that's what I realized in the last couple months is that, you know, people... Um, there's some people that I go, oh, I didn't know that they loved me that much. And then you see some people are like, ah, oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. You guys never, you never really, you know. You think they just use you? No, I just think that um, people, especially in this business, they, they you know, think of themselves first. Mm. And they, they have their own shit. And they, um, you know. Say names. 
Oh, I would love to. You Same. always try. I would to get love to. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah, K yeah. drama. You yeah, yeah, K pop yeah. star. I would love to. Um, <laughs> say names now. <laughs> I, 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 no, because I don't want to start a war. <laughs> Let me tell and, you no, something. no, no, wait, wait. I no, love people war. like you. <laughs> people like you, right? Get me to start wars, and then when the war starts, you're nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. That's Can who you okay, are. First That's of all, who the fuck you I, are. I, I, no, let me just say. Yeah, yeah. How do you know my family lineage? <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa literally, when like the Korean War happened, yeah. he fled to an island and he just skipped the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, really? I know, That's I a true story. You're that kind of Korean. That's a true story. Yeah, it's yeah, a part I, of my bloodline. <laughs> it's crazy. It's your weasel. That. You're a weasel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My grandpa just fished on a on an offshore island. Yeah. And then he just saw a boat come by, and they're like, "The war's over." Oh yeah. wow. And he was just fishing. Yeah. And then he came back. He's that girl that's like. You know, Betty was talking shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, grandpa was a great man. You know what the kind of person I am? What? During the Korean War, I would be North and South Korean, <laughs> depending on who won the war. Like, if the North won, I'm North. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from Bang Bang or whatever. <laughs> Bang Bang Island or whatever. I'm making Red Bread Island. I'm from Red Bread Island. <laughs> we make lots of bread. You're not no. Korean, are you? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm that kind of weasel. Like I'm. Like, I think you're his grandpa. <laughs> well, we're, I think that's we're the same kind we're of. We're in the Asian. same family. We don't even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you a weasel? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I'm a coward. You're I'm a not weasel. a weasel. No. Oh, you're, you, you don't think you're a weasel? No, no, no. You're, no. You have a good uh, ethics. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Tim? You, you weasel or you're a good guy? You know, uh, I just mind my business. I just uh, stay out of it all. He's you know what I'm saying? Good. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just here. He's so good. You know, I want to ask you guys this question: What would you do in this situation? Because I was on a plane. I was on a red eye last night, and um, two things happened. First, when I uh, when I got to my seat, there was this couple that I'm seated next to. They're like, "Good for you, sweetie. You got upgraded." As if I couldn't afford. Mm. Oh my um, god. Yeah. Mm. Good for you, sweetie. Welcome. And they were trying to show me like how to. Put this the life flat. Are you serious? I would lose That's my mind. Number one. Mind. Number That's one. Hella funny. So funny, right? And I'm like, oh, thank you. I just I'm spineless, so I don't say anything. Right, you right. didn't start. Oh, you like have Tagalog or something immediately? Or I'm from Bread Bread Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? Bread. Yeah, yeah. And um, and the second thing that happened was as he was um eating his meal. Um, he sneezed really hard and sneezed all his food into one side of my head. What? Oh. Dude, he wanted to fuck you so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, that's, that's his move. That's how first class people flirt. You would know if you've been there before. <laughs> Or on, yeah. or on. <laughs> and there was so much like it actually. He knew it like it, the sound of it hitting my head. It was like all over my hair, and I was like this. I was like, oh, and I looked at him like, is this real? And he didn't apologize. He didn't say anything. He just kept like rubbing his nose. Yeah. And, oh, was he, he cute? He wasn't. No, he Chinese? was there with his wife. Oh. Who was no? He they, they were white. Oh, that sounds like some mainland Chinese shit though. That is very yes. Oh, right, 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 right. John, that's, that's, not, that's not racist. But what, what would you guys do in that situation? Would you? Because I didn't do anything. It was a late night flight. I was like, you know what? Just, mm. you know, I mean, brush it. It really depends, though, right? Like, how tired am I? Do I really want to start some shit? I just trying to get home, you know? Right. But if somebody does that type of stuff, that's really funny. So you just have to ham it up at that point. Yeah, I was furiously texting from the plane. Like, you can you won't believe what the but, fuck just You're happened. also a fucking giant. If you socked him, I'm pretty sure <laughs> she's fucking gigantic. Like when we when I saw her at the gym, yeah, right. You were intimidated. I was intimidated. There was this girl. She was like stretching and doing her shit on like the jujitsu mat that you're area that you were creeping on. Yeah. No, I thought it was a trans person. What's up, babe? Like, like, <laughs> and then our buddy Nick was like, "Dude, that's Kalila." I'm like, "That dude ain't Kalila." <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Turned around. She had no makeup on. It fucking scared the shit out. Of me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, that's, that's my ex girl. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, man. Hey, whoa, buddy. You defend all your ex girlfriends? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, but you're not wrong because I think that, like, well, number one, like, I've put on like 15 pounds of like muscle. 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 She oh, gets shit. buffed so fast. I've seen her progress over the last like two months. Shout out to Marlon. She's getting buff as shit. We'll wait so, until what we're going to do. What? That's going to get buffed. Oh, up? secret? Oh, oh. keep it a secret. Weight loss challenge? No, no, no. He just said secret. I'll say this. No, no, no. Bobby's going to be training with the team that trained Keanu Reeves for John Wick. Oh. You're going to do an action movie? Hey, no, I'm not Jeremy doing action and them? Secret. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's no, I'm so going to be good. ripped, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're also going to blow out your stop, knees stop, on the first day. <laughs> no, I, I, don't like, I don't like what you just did. There. Yeah, why'd you laugh at that? I didn't no. laugh. Yeah, I go, I'm going to get ripped. You go. 
This is exact your expression. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, just watch. Watch. See how, play, play it back. No, no. Say it again. Get say it I'm going to get ripped. This is what you did. <laughs> say I'm going to get ripped. Huh? You're me, so say I'm going to get ripped. Okay, I'm going to get ripped. <laughs> David, why'd you do that, David? No, wait, wait. David, no, wait, wait, wait. Gilbert, play it back. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. That's excitement for you. Yeah. No, <laughs> that was you. like that was like the most shocking thing. You know what I mean? It's like okay, can I just say something? It's like you, it, me saying, "Oh, Brad Williams just joined the NBA." <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the same kind of absurdity. No, I was okay. Very, what are you I doing? was very happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean right there? It's Yoda. the air. It's the it, air. Flow. You know what? Yeah. You can I be honest with you? Yeah. You have Yoda's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about your eyes that you have Yoda's eyes. <laughs> you know what? This is the thing I don't understand about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are the most cross-eyed person in this room. That's not, I'm not saying all right. we're all cross-eyed. Listen, That's what I'm saying. No, no, you, no, 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 no. Look at that. You always why something am, about my eyes. Th that one. Th the third one. That's not my eyes. That's your eyes, dude. <laughs> Bobby, that looks like you in five years. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally just one stone That's you for Empire that. Right. The Empire Strikes. No, don't you fucking dare. For, for, for that version. No, right? and, turn it off. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so, okay. Don't you fucking I'm going to tell you what happened to me. In that. And you got two Asian guys, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You guys are Asians, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. This, so this happened. So I was in Pigeon Forge, Louisiana. Uh, what, what, to find out where Pigeon Forge is, where Dollywood is. Okay. Oh. What do you mean? I just like I w I would be interested in Dollywood because I just got off the road with Andrew. We did two weeks. You know what I mean? We did a bunch of cities. Uh, I'm Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's, we're in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Okay. Okay. And f and we go to Dollywood. You know, Dolly Parton has her own amusement park. Dolly Parton. Oh, did yeah, you know she's that? A country singer. She's the one with the big tits. Big yeah, yeah, the big titties. Yeah. Have you? Did you guys know she had a music an icon? Did you know that she has an amu uh, amusement park? Yes, I heard about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dollywood. It's got rides and everything. <laughs> Okay. And there, some of them, the eagle, it's a, like an, it would rival uh, Magic Mountain. No, it's like really? that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. They got some real. Yeah, they have some real rides there. What? Where this I was so scared. Look at the, yeah, look at, look, look at the blue. That, you know, that one? That's what they look like. At Dollywood? That's at Dollywood. Dude, that's like Neverland stuff. I know. It's high level. They don't have no rides at Neverland. Michael but, he had, but he had like giraffes. He has giraffes. Shit, he has giraffes. Yeah, yeah, that's not a fucking <laughs> ride. Yeah, but that's in the level of how baller you are. Yeah, though. yeah. <laughs> Exotic animals? Yeah, that's what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only ride at I'm not rich. I don't know ride, these things. The only ride is a private little room, <laughs> and you get bitten in the fucking thigh. <laughs> If you're eight years old, I knew. that's the only ride they have. You, In, you innocently think, bitten. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just Innocent. Eight years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eight years old. <laughs> Did he have a monkey? Right. He did. He did. Bubbles. Oh. Bubbles. Oh. Bubbles. Oh. Bubbles. Bubbles. Dude, you're way ahead of us. We can't oh. even think oh. as fast so, as you. So Pigeon Forge. I'm in Pigeon Forge. Okay. So we go to Dollywood, and I, can I also say this? Is um. You know, twelve years ago, if I went to, they wouldn't even let me in Dollywood twelve years ago, <laughs> right? Racism. I don't know. I just felt like, you know, back then, I was just like, oh, nobody knows me out here. But mm -hmm. when I went to Dolly, I was like, oh shit, like my podcast reaches so many people. I mean, so many people. It's it was actually it made me feel like, oh, okay, this is great. Mm. So I f I'm in a good mood, mm -hmm. right? We go to a restaurant called the Alamo. All right. And oh, I remember that. <laughs> you never been. I'm, oh, you mean the oh the event? Remember the Alamo? Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. You know what, dude? You're clever, dude. <laughs> dude you know, and you're a fast mind. Dude. He's fast, Thanks, man. I like you, dude. Real good. Can Bobby. I move on? <laughs> Please. May I move on? <laughs> Without your little introductions. <laughs> All right, crafty. Well, I want to just run some more bits by. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> Let me fucking get this out, dude. Bobby Eel is mad. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> relax. Uh, all right, so um. <laughs> I, mean, I was with McCone, um, Jesse Johnson, and I was with C Carlos Herrera. Mm -hmm. And the hostess looks up at me. She's probably a 55-year-old woman. She, she does a little smirk, <laughs> and then she goes, Harold. Oh, no. What? Come on. I look at McCone, right, who's this kid v videographer that we have, and he blushes. And I'm like, I, I, I was shell shocked because I haven't witnessed that since the 80s. Right. Like a blatant, you know what I mean? And then we sit down, and then <laughs> often the waiter comes up, I'm a big fan of you from Mad TV. Oh. Other people, this and that, right? And then I see Hero Lady, right? Yeah. People going back, oh, Bobby Lee's here, this is it. And I could see her kind of just shuffling things around, like maybe I fucked up or uh -huh. whatever. But it was such a bold, what? What are you looking at? <laughs> 
nothing. I'm imagining. No, 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 no. Honestly, I think you feel. I, you're a little beady eye. You're, you're, you're little Yoda eyes. I know. What Yoda, I know what Yoda did on Dagobah. All right. <laughs> hey, right. And he would do this little beady eyes thing oh, right, on Dagobah. You they, know what it was. The swamp. The swamp soup. Right. But you're, you're, you're reading too much into things. Your storytelling is so good. I'm picturing everything right now. So picturing I'm, everything you are. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Yoda shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this guy is fucking crafty. I Shut the fuck up, Tim. <laughs> I like you, but shut the fuck up. You're good. Shut your fucking mouth. Tell me what happened with the lady. No, but I, I, my point is, is that what would you do if that happened? I mean, if they're old, I'm not saying old people get a pass. But what am I going to do? Is sock an old lady in the face? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, come here for a second. You know, knock her out. Like, Did, what's the point? Was she like la Was she laughing? Was she like? Was she like? I made a clever joke. Was she? Number one, she doesn't use the internet. Number two, she's old as shit and she lives in Tennessee. What's the point? And that's why I didn't say anything. Yeah. I said two and, and But three. how, on a scale of one to ten, like how offended were you really? Because you called me and you were like laughing. <laughs> okay. And you loved it. <laughs> no, uh, you're going to get so many heroes at rescue. I know. Hero. <laughs> Hero. I do this. like it because it's old school. It's like, it was, listen, yeah. it's like when you're you know, at a mall oh. and you're listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire. I like this place. Place. Oh, I wow. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A classic. Yeah, it's a classic, right? So it's like, uh, run it back. Run it back, yeah. So in that way, it was cool because it was a classic, yeah. right? <laughs> also, because, you know, when I, I'm older than you guys, so I, I knew a day. When that was just standard every day, mm. you know what I mean? Microaggressions. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden the culture got stopped and you know what I mean? You guys started rising and no more heroes, <laughs> right? It still happens, obviously. To you. Depending. Like you, you've, you've experienced racism. Yes. Where? Uh, I was at a college show in upstate New York mm. and we had finished the show. Oneonta? I forget what okay. even college it was. And I was walking back with a couple, just like the girls that I put on the show, they were walking back to my, uh, my, my room. And there's some drunk frat boys, whites, were stumbling back. And they saw me with these two Asian girls. And the guy goes, hey, guys, the Great Wall is that way. And I was Ugh. so like, oh, such a bad joke. I, I didn't even know what I was. Because I yeah, that was probably one of my first times just dealing with it like that. Yeah, and yeah. I just I, I didn't know what to say. I, was I like, love it. It's a classic. It's like the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that came on uh, oh, Hotel California yeah, Hotel wow. California dude. <laughs> You say Tim Where the wall at Where the wall at Where the wall at Where the wall, wall at Through <laughs> 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 the window Through the wall Wow So what'd you do I just um, I just kind of like What the fuck And then they stumbled off And we Well that's and, what happens a lot And we had a threesome And that was my night Ooh, Just oh, kidding awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The wall is that way <laughs> But you know When stuff like that happens Everybody is braver In their mind Than what they actually do Because yeah. exactly. yeah, you just You can't process it In the moment I'm not sure Have you guys ever done this Where somebody has something Said something so offensive to you And then you kind of Don't know what's going on And then you're in the car Then you just go Hey fuck you yeah. <laughs> I've done that. I've done, like, that. Oh, I've done that plenty of times. Yeah. I've done that years later. Yeah. <laughs> you're laying in bed and you were, and you go, fuck you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Out loud. And you're, you're, I mean, whoever's next to you is going, what the, what's wrong? What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So everybody's always brave in their story first, right? And there have been times where I have said something, but yeah. most of the time I'm just trying to process it because it doesn't happen every day. Yeah. If it happens every day, then you can prep yourself for it, right? Mm. But somebody goes, the Great Wall's that way. You just go, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, the Great Wall, you all, oh, you, <laughs> my mom's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just try to think of a, a, a fast, like, let's find a retort for that right now. Yeah. And in fact, let's write a book on all our retorts from racist shit. <laughs> from Asian racist. Because I can't think of it at the time because you, your emotion plays into it. Rage and whatever it might be. So, but there's so many variations. Great Wall is that way. What do we say? Oh, well, you, then oh, I go. Oh, I know. No, that's, <laughs> yeah. You just play into it. You play into it. You play into it. You, it. you have to. You go. No. Oh, I know. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Oh, I have a chopstick. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, you go. Where my rickshaw? Yeah. <laughs> we go now. We go now. You know. It then. You're playing into it. But then when they start laughing, you serious. You say, Yo, your mom's house was that way. I just left from having sex with her. Boom! Boom! Oh. So the let me, let's, okay, so I'm, let's go, let's go, let's play that. <laughs> I need to see it live. I want to see it live, right? Okay, so, okay. Hey, the, hey, the Great Wall's that way. Oh, yeah, well, your mom's house is that way. We just had sex. Whoa, that burn. We rough sex. R rough. Worse. Yeah. Dude, go, go crazier. In With, the anus. Yeah, raw. Raw. And I ejaculated inside her. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that guy took it too far. No, oh it, yeah. All right. So, um, how about the hero? How about the hero? Let's go back to hero. Yeah. 
It's a simple one. So hero. So I go. Hello. How you doing? Um, oh, Jesus okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, uh, howdy. Yeah, yeah. You, you're right. So go. Let's see if that works. Go, hero. Hero. Howdy. Oh. Why are you yelling at me. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's too much. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if she would understand. Yeah, I wouldn't understand this. All right. Hello. Hello. Um. Goodbye. <laughs> oh yeah, you, say, you yeah. say goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Go by and they leave. But I, I feel I feel this way too. A lot of people would do that to you guys mainly because you guys are smaller. Like the bigger the person is, they whoa, don't. Whoa, they don't whoa, do it. whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no. Whoa, okay, whoa, I'm just whoa. saying bad things whoa. all the time today. No, no, no. no. Okay, explain my thought. Replay the clip Have earlier. You this, <laughs> no. Have you noticed that tall Asian are elitists? Uh, yeah. And they make fun of the average size guys. Nice skin, tall motherfucking Asian. Yeah. Think yeah. The shit. Yoda eyes. Yoda I, eyes. <laughs> yeah. I don't be Tom. No. <laughs> that fits. That's good call back from a different podcast. Go finish your point. Finish your point. Okay. What I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is that people will always try to pick on somebody who physically looked like they could just bully. You know, they could bully me way easier than you two. It's I'm just taller. I, you know, I you know I tend to believe you. <laughs> I really do because if you, I, I bet you Yao Ming's never gotten anything racist. Yeah, he's so tall. I know. You, I mean, even if you walked into a clan rally, they'd be like, oh, hey, man, don't say nothing. <laughs> I mean, he'll kill everybody here. Well, I think he might get hit with the hero because I don't know if she necessarily meant any ill, like, you know, she wasn't trying to hurt your feelings. Right. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't hear it. He's, he's so far yeah. Or he would hear, the, hear an echo of the hero. <laughs> hero, hero. <laughs> echo of hero. Hero, hero. By the time they're to him, he's already gone. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just raw, raw, raw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a residual hero. Did you ever wish that you were uh, taller when you were younger? Yeah, very much so. Thank you. <laughs> Did you try to do anything to make yourself tall? No, because I I have common sense. I looked at my parents. I go, I'm fucked. <laughs> like when your parents are That's five one, five one, one. Because your parents could have been like malnourished and maybe didn't. Like, I've seen the whole the family, Kalila. <laughs> They're, oh, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, some of my cousins are a little taller. This is why you always date girls who are like five eight and up. That's why. I've never dated a girl shorter than me. Ever, ever? Damn, that's some ever. short king shit, dude. Short <laughs> king shit. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got him too happy, dog. Yeah, so happy. Yeah. No, because I, because I, I knew that if I needed to breed with somebody taller. But, then, but, but let me just say something though. Yeah. But. And now, in retrospect, I think I've changed because I like the fact that I, who I am. Mm -hmm. I like that I'm small. I like the way I like. But I, there's a New York Times article that says we're supposed to be breeding with people shorter. Why? Um, yeah. because, Live longer, uh, better for the environment. Better for the environment. What? Like they're like inherent conservationists because of less food, less waste, Methane. less everything, less let's every, go. Yeah, less farts, <laughs> less but farts. Just generally, just less impact on the world. Like smaller people. But don't they live longer? Short they also people? live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. Was the person who wrote this article really short? That's what I was saying. You know what I mean? Well, I have a thing too where my theory is that like tall guys are just kind of automatically lamer. Because they will automatically get attention as soon as they walk into the room. And short guys, we got we got to be funnier. We got to be like, we got to bring the attention back down. We got to like smell good and shit. You know, that's why you never smell good around me until today. Okay, well, no, let me tell you something. <laughs> I love what's something. going on here. Tim, I was you 300 pounds over. four years ago, all right? And I had trash skin. Okay. And you know, whenever we're outside... Who did the fans come? Oh, up? I know about the trash skin. What you trying to say? I'm saying that fans <laughs> always come up to you all the fucking time, and every time it's a guy fan that's 400 pounds, they come up to me. <laughs> so you know the type of people who approach you versus me, just off looks alone. I never get approached. It's always a guy. Hey man, I'm a big fan. Cause you, <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, I know you're a big fan. You inspired all these dudes to lose weight because you lost all that but weight. But it's not working because they're huge. <laughs> So that's what fat people. I like your fat people voice. That was my voice before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm David hey Stone. guys, I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big fan. Yeah. Does that sound fat? Yes, but like they're if, also, if somebody called you and said, "Hi, I'm calling from AT and T." Do I sound fat? He sounds like he's gonna kill himself. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, but my big fans are always the coolest though, because they remind me of myself. <laughs> Tim, nice save. <laughs> you don't save seem it. short to me, because I, you're well proportioned. I I heard I hear on camera like if I see like when I when I, when you came into the house just now yeah I was shocked how little you were that's what people you know because I also have a, a, a very massive head uh, <laughs> and shoulders so yeah. it looks like yeah like I would be taller people are always kind of a little thrown off um 
when I first, Corey Holcomb, first time he saw me, he said, uh, you got a head like you 10 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a big head. Yeah, I have a very big head, yeah, especially. <laughs> Are there Asians said, with small heads, though? No. Uh, the ones that have the smallest heads are usually the ones that get complimented the most. Because, you know, in Korean, the compliment is like, your face is really small. That's the compliment. Oh, my God. That's like the Korean compliment to get. If somebody comes up to you and they're Korean, they go, wow, you have a small face. That's like the highest level of beauty mm. you can get. Yeah, but movie stars all have big heads. The guys do, but the girls, no, but the ones that are the most popular, tiny little fucking heads. You mean movie stars? Musicians or movie stars. Give me one. A tiny, tiny head, head mu be, uh, actor. Anybody who was a musician before that became an actor. Ice Cube. No, the Korean. Korean. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I'm talking about just Hollywood in general. I mean, yeah. I mean in Hollywood. Oh yeah, this is different here. The standards oh, different are different. Yes. He's talking about, I'm talking like, about Korean. in Korea. Oh. Yeah, I, I, Korea is one of those towns. Town. <laughs> towns. Korea is a place where I don't ever want to visit because I'm not kidding you. No one knows who I am there. Do you think that if you were born and raised there, you would have been a comic still? I think I would have ended up like on one of those like. Variety shows. variety shows, like, oh, da, da, ba, ka, and just running with the outfit and just running across the <laughs> stage. But I don't think I would have been like a huge actor. What well, about you guys? Like, well, if you had stayed, if you had, if you were born and raised in Thailand, you were born and raised in Korea, like, what do you think? Same trajectory? Stand up comedy in Korea, it was almost non existent until the last few years. So mm. our stuff is variety shows, right? A mm -hmm. lot of like Charlie Chaplin type of shit. And that's our comedy. This, it's, it's really witty, really quick, and really fast. I think uh, Danny Cho started doing stand up comedy over there. And he started <laughs> really. Mm -hmm. Putting the wave out there, really? which was really dope. Yeah, oh, it's, I love watching his photos. I'm like, it, it, it's like he has a crew of people now. Oh, Do you know what that fool used to hate me? Because <laughs> y'all got similar sounding names and looks. Exactly. <laughs> no, straight up. I think that's what it was. I've always wanted to ask him why. Like, what did I do? And I think it's because when I first came to LA, I looked exactly like him. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah. same glasses, yeah, yeah, yeah. same everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's and I was same. just the younger person that looked. <laughs> Look, that was me. Yeah. yeah. It's like the, straight up. It's the same look. And like the weird thing is, is like when I when I you know who Danny is, right? Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. He's Pongo. Oh. So put you? Johnny Gone and Pongo. Oh, that's right. On Google your sketches. That. Yeah. So on Mad TV, you know who was Pongo? I, well, I only knew that recently because I saw those sketches again. Yeah. That looks like David. Right. Oh, that's what shit. I said. Yeah, that's Pongo. you. Oh, that's oh. me. <laughs> yeah, Wait, yeah. I thought it was you. Oh yeah. my God, that's crazy. Pongo. Yeah, he's he has he's on the Mad TV Wiki, dude. Oh wow, fucking Pongo, dude. Damn, <laughs> yeah. dude. When the I most racist are they the most racist <laughs> sketches you've ever seen? Okay, oh, yeah, hilarious though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, wow, look, I I love, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we look so <laughs> similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yoda, I, Yoda or Jabba the Hutt, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I did that was because they were already writing me like Japanese business businessman number two, mm. right? And like Asian shit. So I go, you know what? I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to go real racial. Yeah. I'm going to go real fucked up Asian. Mm -hmm. You know what the <laughs> cartoony on my <laughs> fucked up Asian character that you did that no, had me and my brother crying tell me, laughing? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Blind Kung Fu Master. <laughs> oh, it's so <laughs> fucked up and racist. Dude, I'm so sorry. That character. <laughs> oh, I'm made, so sorry. You have no idea how many times I pissed my pants laughing <laughs> yeah. watching that shit. It's uncomfortable though, no? No, it's not. Uh, it's so. It is I. <laughs> <laughs> the yes! Kung Fu Master. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the most like aggrandized, exaggerated yeah. shit ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so it's good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. No audio and it's hilarious. <laughs> this is Charlie Chaplin shit right here. Yeah. yeah. So you can hear the audio if you put headphones like on. Ike, Ike Bernholz. Ike Bernholz, man. That's so funny. <laughs> Dude, your eyes, man. <laughs> 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 It's so stupid. So stupid, so stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I laughed so much at that character. It was so stupid and funny. I loved it. Yeah, it, it took five hours of prosthetics. Damn. <laughs> it was worth it. For real? Yeah, just the head and the eye. It was it was a whole fucking thing. And also, I could only, I only used one white eye because the other one wouldn't fit. <laughs> I think I have one socket that's like weird. But that's hella funny. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. If nobody has ever seen, they're gonna these views are gonna just burst now because they're yeah. so fucking ridiculous. They're so. I did a lot of ridiculous things, but I, I, at the time though, 
what else do you do? You you know you you sit there and they go, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. And you do the best you can with what they have. Mm-hmm. Do you and, look, do you look back now and you're like, I wish I would have said no to some of this shit. No, mm-hmm. no, because I um, you know, I have to say that I uh, <laughs> I think that I was good. Yeah, man. I think I was good on that show, and I think you weren't that, good. It was you groundbreaking were shit, dog. You were yeah. fucking amazing. And I and I can't believe that they allowed me to do because at the end of the day, although it be, you know it is seems racist and you know behind the times and whatnot, it did showcase my humor mm-hmm. and my ability. You know what I mean mm-hmm. to do things, and it, that's all I wanted. I think we kind of say the word racist too easy now. Like I you know when we say it in jest or whatever, right? Mm. Like you're you're Asian. You That's know right. What I mean, so what's the problem? Oh, what's the problem? You know, <laughs> you're making fun of. I, I I still feel like you know you're making fun of the stereotype. So it's exactly. Not like, you know. Yeah, it's it's like when Deborah Wilson played Whitney, Houston, right? mm-hmm. yeah, Whitney Houston, mm-hmm. right? And you know, or Aria Spears would play a, a, another black character, right? It's just like you're just these are real people we're portraying. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But um, you know, I I wish I, I I'm not a good impressionist. Does that work now? If you release that video we just watched now, do you no. think I still think it's funny. Yeah, I think so. Because the joke isn't the fact that you're Asian. The joke is that the Kung Fu master is supposed to be the wisest person in the room. Yeah. And you're a blind idiot. That's <laughs> yeah, why yeah, it's that's funny. The, that's yeah, the joke. Yeah, it's yeah. not the Asian yeah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. It's well, the fact that you're over here drinking a cup of poison. Sitting at the bar. It's like, what the fuck is But also, they would never write that now. Right. Like, if you look at, you know, what's the kid from SNL? I like him, but. Which one? The Bowen? Kid. Bowen. Bowen Yang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bowen Yang, right? He would, ne- he would never do anything remotely like right. Johnny Khan or right. Blind Kung Fu Master. But he does play embellish like gay flamboyant characters. Even yeah, more, were, yeah, like, yeah. It's the same. same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everybody's getting canceled nowadays. He, and I, <laughs> You also did the average Asian. I love the average Asian skits. Oh, that was pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah, because those those also like those would like flip the stereotype. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, this is not a. I don't want my dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck, he, he, gets, he gets uncomfortable. I man. hate it, man. <laughs> it's, it sucks. Without you, no. It wouldn't oh, can, be I, up. No, can I say this though? <laughs> can I say this then? You Let's fucking turn the table, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's turn the. You know what I mean? <laughs> You guys, so I could run. No, I'll tell you We're something. We're running, Papa. I, yeah. I, all right, Papa. I'll tell you something right now. Right. <laughs> you know, I was lost until you guys lit a fucking torch in the forest, and I could see again. Oh, please. Mm. Because but I, I was lost. The forest fire. You didn't you even were like the me. That came out. <laughs> I didn't like it. Right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? But you guys did so. Like people like you guys. Not you guys specifically. Yeah. All right. In fact, not you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But not no. You but you guys at all. Not, yeah. But no. But you guys. We can pass this. <laughs> You got because you know when Hollywood wasn't fucking with me, I'm like, what? How do I survive, mm. right? And you guys, you mean, showed me the way. Mm. You mean your generation. So mm. it's like, um, I'm grateful as well. Nice try, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Feel? Yeah, that was crap. No, no, nice try, man. You feel <laughs> uncomfortable? I was crawling, and now you're walking. What was the phrase? No, again? he, <laughs> he, was it? he like broke boards in half. So oh, we, we can, can hi-ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah. yeah. We've never, you know, there's never been an all Asian real sketch show, though, huh? No. 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 I don't think I would want it. Do you though. want that, though? Um, I just wanted to see one episode, see what it would look like. <laughs> We can do that before it gets canceled. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, no I, I want to see what we could come up with, or you know, what the angles would be, because um, and we wouldn't rely on you know stereotypical stuff like. But I just want to. I'm just curious about. It. I'd like to see it. Mm-hmm. Would you ever want to see it? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd be down for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> he hates his own people. That's no. I, I love. <laughs> I love my people, dude. But I mean, I we keep it. People. You keep the cast small. Like us three and maybe two girls, and that's it. I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying that I would hate it. I'm saying like I don't think we need it. No, we don't need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but yeah, it'd be, yeah, be kind of cool. Yeah. But and let me. I, I think we do. We do need it. Okay, we need it. I, I'll tell you why. <laughs> because it's. I'll tell you why in America. Because um, you know, it's not something that you see, mm-hmm. right? And it's a skill set. Sketch comedy for Asians. It's not a skill set that you've seen on prime time, mm-hmm. right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think that you know. If you did put one and put it on its feet and was on a show, a network, it, that it would 
people, I think people would be wild by it. Yeah, I agree. I think, mm-hmm. I think skill set. maybe that those waitresses in Tennessee will watch that show and be like, oh, it's not Hero every sketch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is not accurate. You know? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Hero is pretty accurate, though. <laughs> Hero is. It is actually kind of accurate. Yeah. It's just how you do it that's just a little, you know. It was Johnny Yoon's uh, opening line. <laughs> Who's Johnny Yoon? Excuse me? Excuse me? Who's Johnny Yoon? Oh, yeah, who's Johnny Yoon? Duh. (laughs) (laughs) Tim, who's Johnny Yoon? I don't even want to disrespect you by explaining to this. (laughs) No, honestly, Tim, who's Johnny Yoon? It is a character. Or, or person, or person that you portray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. (laughs) I think Johnny Yoon's a real person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. (laughs) Can I just say, shame on you guys. But I know who Bobby Lee is. No, no, that's and not, that's all that, not, and that's all that. No, I want to say this, right? Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on both. Oh, J- oh, Johnny, you you were saying it funny. Yeah. Why did you say Johnny? Yeah, that's yeah. how you said it. That's how you said it. But you know who that is? He's a uh, stand-up. He comedian. is a famous pastor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a Korean pastor. <laughs> yeah, bro. He looks. Like he looks a famous Korean pastor. Well, there was there used to be a movie called They Call Me Bruce. Okay, I've have you heard of it? Yes, Bruce Almighty. Yes, it was <laughs> no, 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 no. So anyway, Johnny Yoon, just a history lesson. Yes, um, was a comedy store comic, and he was around in the late seventies, in the eighties, right? And Johnny oh, Yoon, we should know this. Did a movie called They Call Me Bruce that we that might me and my family saw in the movie theater. Oh wow! Oh. Right, so they gave him a real movie, a couple of them, I think. And they call him, they call me Bruce. And it's him not being, like, it's sort of like the blind kung fu master. He's not Bruce. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. And, um. Were they good? Did your parents enjoy it? No one laughed. In, <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, in the theater, I remember no one laughing. But I remember watching it going, there's someone that looks like me that's in a movie. Mm-hmm. And I just never saw that before. Mm-hmm. And also people are speaking English. Mm-hmm. You know what's interesting? Like, yeah. I, I, <clears throat> I was talking to my older cousin. Yeah. And I don't like it whether you shift it, but well, I'm going to go back to Johnny, but go ahead and listen to your story. There is a, a generational gap between like how important representation is to people in your generation versus I feel like our little weird area. No, I like, disagree. Really? Yeah, I think it was super important for me growing up. Okay, I want to get to, I, I, I want to talk about this right now, but let me just finish the Johnny, and then we can talk okay. about Let this. him finish his fucking point, dog. Anyway, Johnny was... Just, <sighs> what the fuck is... Oh, yeah, yeah. A chopstick comedy. <laughs> yeah, it's a chopstick comedy, right? <laughs> so anyway, a, as a stand-up, you know, his opening line was he would walk up in a tuxedo at the comedy store in the main room, mm. you know, and he wouldn't say something for maybe a minute, and he would look at the audience and go, how... Mm. And it would get a two-minute applause break. <laughs> Dude, the bar was so low. Back then. <laughs> it was so low. But anyway, that's that's who Johnny. What you should do. Go ahead, finish. Yeah. And so, <laughs> what I mean by that is not to say that like representation is important isn't important in our generation, but in your generation, there was a lot of self-hating Asians. Where whoa, whoa, what do you mean? Like they, you didn't want your Asianness. Because you were made fun of it for, you know, for ours, like K-pop is cool and all this other stuff. And you didn't have that in your generation. So when I talked to my older cousin, he goes, I remember when I didn't want to speak Korean Mm. or I didn't want to learn the language or I didn't want to talk about the foods that I eat. But now that we have social media and stuff, you know, we're like, there's always like a white person like, oh, look at this, a weird fruit. Oh, right, right, right. You know? In an Asian voice? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Really? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> it was supposed to be German, but it came out weird. <laughs> and so all I know weird. is Asian. I'm well, a Sherman. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 look at this. So weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, how do you like that, Whitey? Yeah. What was your point, Tim? Oh, my point was, um, it, well, I, to go off kind of your point, I, I, it was important for me to see Asian representation growing up, and it's part of the reason why I even... Got into entertainment in general because I remember watching The Fresh Prince, my favorite show growing up, never seeing any Asian dudes except for Dante Bosco in a couple episodes. And seeing my first Asian guy on that show was a nerd in the group of nerds. And uh, he was like, you know, hey, Carlton at prom. Like they had like a little nerdy tux on. He's like, hey, Carlton, nice tux. And I remember even as a little kid being like, oh, this is the first time I've seen an Asian guy on one of my favorite shows. And like, I know. This doesn't represent me, but how is it for, I don't know, Alice in Tennessee working, right. working at the fucking Alamo, who's never seen yeah. Asians at all? She's like, oh, they must be all little, little nerds like this. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. she's not exposed to it. That's a big pe- reason why I was like, let me get out there and try and. Damn, you were it. hella deep as like a five year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but in the late 90s, right, I, when I came to LA, I had, because what, hap- what changes first are commercials. 
Mm. Ad agencies change first, and then Hollywood follows, right? So I, 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 I remember like going into commercial auditions, and sometimes they were like, we, we, we want to see Bobby first. Mm, really? Yeah, and it was like, why? And they would do it, and I would like always. They were all commercials for IBM and computers. No, <laughs> <laughs> I did El Pollo Loco. Mm-hmm. I did. Oh, I, that's right. I did fucking Maxwell House. That's Dude, you right. Did El Pollo Loco. Wait, what were you in El, El Pollo Loco again? Uh, I, had to, I list my favorite story. Uh, oh please, I gotta know this. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, it's one of those. Okay, uh, the commercial is basically, you know, I'm sitting on a park bench. There's a cop in a car, right? It's just like kind of Main Street, you know, America. And then somebody starts doing the chicken dance. And then a cop comes out. He starts doing the chicken dance. And I'm doing the chicken dance. I'm sitting on the bench, right? And everyone's like in the street doing a chicken dance. It's El Pollo Loco. But the problem was at the time I was living in Silver Lake. And around me were all these MS-13 families, right? So I would go outside and these Latina go, Hey, dude, the fucking chicken guy. And they would fucking do the fucking chicken guy. Wow, this is fucking terrible. Hey, Chino. <laughs> hey, Chino, you're the fucking chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not in a cool way like I saw on my TV. El like, Pollo make- Chino, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were making fun of me. But like, I remember one was a Maxwell House commercial, and I remember the breakdown said, we're looking for a Brad Pitt-looking guy wearing a lumberjack kind of outfit at a log cabin, chopping wood in the morning and drinking coffee, right? And I go, and um, my agent was Korean. <laughs> my agent was crazy. He's like, Lawrence? Dude, Lawrence, yeah. yeah. And Lawrence is like, yeah, dude, this is going to be a long shot. <laughs> uh, they they want to see you for this. And I go, so I show up and it's all white dudes Rude. with white hair. I'm young too. I'm like, maybe in my late 20s. Yeah. And I remember looking in the room going, I'm going to get this. What? Because I just knew that there was something going on. Me being called in, and I could sense, like, when I would talk to the ad agencies and people, and they were like, okay, I think this is, you know what I mean? I think we like this guy, right? And I could sense it. And then a couple of years later, then you see Asians getting on TV and this and that. But my, but they always see it first, and I was always like, I mean, I, I survived. I mean, that's how I met Eric Stone Street. Damn. Because Stone Street and I would, like, meet at a commercial audition. He was a machine. Not only do they like Asians, they like fat white dudes too. <laughs> oh yeah, I see a lot <laughs> of fucking those, machine yeah. that guy. I'm low key inspired because like sometimes I'll I'll read what the audition is looking for. I'm like, this ain't for, this ain't for me. Like, this no, you change their minds, Tim. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You change their minds. You're right. And you do what you would do in that role. Okay. And a lot of times you surprise them, mm-hmm. right? And they go, oh no, th- this guy just surprised me, and I can no longer think of anyone else but him. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. For the role. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Mm. All right. What, do you guys say no? I don't say no, but sometimes when I feel like, ah, oh, like, do I have time for this? I'm like, eh, let me not even do it. What are you doing? Is this the L point? Oh, no, I, I can't find that one, but have you seen, this is the, uh, this is volume if you want headphones. Is that IBM <laughs> one? Yeah. That's you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I remember this. That's Eric Stone Straight. Oh, shit. You look like just chicken little. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, like chicken adorable. Little. Yeah, yeah, three hundred and fifty k, right? Something. Cool. No, that wasn't that wasn't that one. Oh. I did another one that was three fifty. Ooh, that's great. Commercial money man. is popping. Wow. Not anymore though. Right? Not anymore. No. Not really. No, you can't do that anymore. Why? Because of the internet. It's because of the internet. Yeah. Back then, it's like if you got a ne- network national commercial, yeah. you were like, oh, I don't have to work this year. Right. It was incredible. It's not like that anymore? No. We don't book commercials, though. I, was, I well, thought it was still popping. I don't book anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very different. Very different. <laughs> All right. So. Well, you don't go out for commercials? Uh, I don't really go out for auditions anymore, uh, depending. Why? I just don't care for it right now. Oh, you gave up. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, no I want to know why. I, different season right now. Yeah. You know what? I, I know we talked about yeah. this the last time no, I explain. saw you. I I told it's not going to make sense to you because I think that you no, I want. I I think this is going to help me. I think your dreams of your ideas of success are different. Like you want, like I cause similar to David. Like I have this thing where it's like I want to make like quiet money, yeah, and I want to do things with that quiet money. I kind of like there is 
something very taxing about being like camera facing mm. all the time. There is something very like soul wrenching about that experience. And I've never even done like, you know, <laughs> a, a, twen- a hundredth of what you've done. But so, yeah. It's a weird place because I'm a beggar, right? And beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> so like I, I completely understand it. So when, when these roles do come in, like I'll just be, I'll pick and choose the ones that I really, really care about. Mm. Right. Which is why I haven't booked anything because clearly I'm not in the run up for any of this stuff. Mm. But at least I get to audition for the things that I enjoy. Oh, you be trying yeah. to care? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, and this is this the season that I'm in. I mean, it might change later, but I kind of, I like being as in the lowest rung of celebrity as possible <laughs> because you get to just not exist for a majority of the time. You know, you get to be who you are, say what you want. And if people say, hey, I'm going to take this away from you, I'm like, I don't care. I'm a nobody. Who the fuck cares? But I'm, also yeah. it's like if you were to ever hit or actually reach your dream, the likelihood of you being canceled in that same week for anybody is 99.9%. And look, let's just say this, it, right? Let's just say by God's grace, I book something and it makes me millions, right? And mm. they find something out about me. Like, I don't know, I shit on somebody's fucking child. Okay. Or, and they go, you know what? You're canceled. I'm like, I don't care. I made my money. I'll, yeah. I'm, I'm still going to do the stuff on YouTube and whatever else. Your perception of me is completely fine. It's valid because what I put out there is what I put out there, right? Mm-hmm. So this is an interesting thing, thing you're saying. I, I've had to rework in my mind, you know what I mean? Why I've been so depressed, okay? Mm. And I think it's because, you know, I'm trying to hold on to things, <clears throat> right? And I'm afraid of losing things, and and that's where the fear comes from. But if I have no attachment to those things, I would be free. Mm. And I'm trying to live in a world where it's like, I'm fine b- doing what I'm doing at the moment, mm-hmm. which is my loves, this, bad friends, and touring and stuff, right? And they can never take those things away, Right. It's when my mind goes, you know, when I see on Instagram, oh, you know, my friends are killing it in movies. Mm. Maybe why, why not me and this and that? And that's where all my depression and my anxieties and my, you know, low self-esteem derive from. Mm. But if I let go of those things, right, then I'm living, you know what I mean, a free life. What do you have to do, you think, to let go? I think I'm, I'm getting there. But do you think you can will yourself to let go? Because a dream is a dream is a dream. You've had these dreams since you were younger. So I, I think I think because of the fact that it really doesn't do much, even financially for me. You know, being a guest star on a TV show, or you know, you know, me and Andrew have been on tour, and we go to these cities like in the deep south, mm. and there's thousands of people coming out, mm-hmm. right? And they love me, and I love them. And that's all I wanted anyway, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, is to go, I'm talented, I have something to share with people, and now white people, you know what I mean, <laughs> from areas of the country that I never thought would get me, get me. Mm-hmm. And I get them, and it's been a really cool experience, man. So, and and yeah. I was going to say, does that, I, 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 does that still <laughs> feel like it's not enough? You still feel like you need to go for more? I think, I think that's enough. Mm-hmm. And if I can live in a world where that's enough, then I, I'm untouchable. You know, my fears come from, and my depression and my anxiety and my sadness comes from losing these things that I don't even have yet. Mm. Like, oh, but now I can't, you know what I mean, be in a huge movie with these people. Who gives a fuck? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, if I can just let go of that, I'm a free man. And I'm we're working that in my life right now. Yeah, man. I mean, look, I'm I'm kind of in. Uh, I was gonna say, <laughs> is it too real? I'm sorry, I know we're no. no well, that's... I was gonna say there's a there's like a Taoist yeah. principle that says all is it word Buddhist? One of those it says all suffering comes from desire, or something like that, mm-hmm. right? Where it's like if you just kind of realize that you're good with what you got, then you won't be sad about shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a little different from David in terms of like I still definitely have a lot of shit that I want to do. Yeah. Um, I still definitely have like I want to do that fucking big movie and I want to like star in some shit like that. I've been telling him for like years. I'm like, bro, I'm writing a movie for us. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> so sick of yeah. it, dog. And it's like, look, it's Don't like seventy percent done in my head. I just gotta. He'll write text it out. me these things. <laughs> hey, bro. 70% done. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then the second text in my head. And I'm like, don't fucking talk to me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically him texting, texting you, blah, 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 blah. It's meaningless. Yeah. I have that all the time. You know what I mean? It's, it's done. My treatment's done. Like, what treatment? You have cancer? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Wait, am I that person that's like, yes, I got are. a movie for you? And then yeah. it's Oh, like, no. You're yeah, that guy. 
Yeah, dude. Oh. You're, you're just Hollywood steam. Oh, my God. I, I'm those meetings that lead to nothing. Oh. <laughs> no, no, Tim, Tim, Tim. What up? What, what, okay. <laughs> Yeah, oh. right, Tim, dude, we're having some crazy moments right now, dude. I, I, I Tim, just w until it's locked in. Yeah, don't talk. Then about you it. talk. You right, you right, you right. right. Because it seems weird. Yeah, seventy percent. What does that even mean? <laughs> How do you know the percentage? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing the percentage? Yeah, because but also, like, I find that if you announce something too soon, you're already getting the payoff, mm. like internally, of saying I'm doing this. If you just keep it contained in your body and you keep it a secret, and that f it fuels you into the work. But the moment you say, "Hey, I'm doing this," you're already rewarding yourself the feeling of saying Dude, you're doing mm, it. That's so funny mm. that you brought that up because okay, so I just recently got diagnosed uh, with adult ADHD. Right? Oh, oh him God. too. Oh, dude. Okay, yeah. so and I someone someone told yeah. me that when yeah. you announce things too early, you're giving yourself the dopamine that exactly. you would normally get that you would need to work. Yes. When you get like that last minute fuel to write some shit. So uh yeah, you're right. Let me stop. <laughs> It's okay that you do it. No, my wife hates it too. Can She's I, so this, sick of me. Yeah. He's not gonna stop. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has ADHD, he's gonna forget. No, but and no, you're, you're not gonna stop. You're gonna hit me up at 2 a.m. in the morning. He's like, bro, 71. percent Here's what. <laughs> so here's what happens. Because literally every time I'm laying in bed at 2 a.m., I'm like, oh, that's a good little couple lines for the script. I'll have it. I'll put it in my phone. I'm like, couple dude, <laughs> you're gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just want to tell you about it, you know? I get into those like idea vortic vortices in when I'm in the shower. Is that the mm -hmm. plural vortex? I, I think so. Vort I like vortices. it though. I believe it. Go Vortai. ahead. Vortai. 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 <laughs> Let's go ahead. Um, but I get like, I'm like, I have a song for this scene, for this thing, and I feel it feels so good in my chest. I'm like, I'm a fucking creative genius, yeah. you know? And I want to announce it so bad, and I usually do. And I tell my sister, and then now that I got the dopamine hit, and then I'll never think about that thought again. Wow, it's just forgotten. so interesting. <laughs> so what's the point? What's the, uh, you, you just stop doing it? It's, you get the high, right? It's an addiction, then. It is. It's it interesting. Is. It's the, it's an addiction of like almost like just like sucking your own dick for a second. Yes, you know it's exactly right. that. Oh, you know what else is an addiction is getting a job. Yeah. Right. So it's like I remember a couple of years ago when I did that movie in Hungary, I remember going, "Who's in it? I'm I'm, I'm gonna be in it with them." Yeah. And that I, it was like a shot of fucking ego, right. opioids, opioids. M Macaulay Culkin talks about that a lot. He does. Yeah, I think that's why, like, part of the reason why, like, he quit acting, like, he like just being like a careerist like that, yeah. looking for your next hit mm. all the time. But then when you're actually there, you go, "Why am I so depressed?" That's mm. such a hard way to live, though. Like, yeah. you're, you're constantly chasing this feeling that you have to replenish in order for you to be happy. You're never happy in stillness. Yeah. You know? That's fucking hard. Because I garden every morning. And that's like my happiest <laughs> oh, time of the right, day. That's your tomatoes. Yeah, I garden. And that's like the happiest time of my day where I'm just by the plants and I'm fucking doing this shit and I watch these things grow. You old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> old man shit. Yeah, that's old man shit. <laughs> but I could see that for you, Bobby. What? I am really old. Getting, garden? Getting into gardening. Stardew Valley. <laughs> because he's already oh. into Stardew Valley, like hardcore. Oh, fucking garden shit. I don't know. I don't even know what fucking vegetables I want to grow. Oh, really? Okay, based on your Stardew Valley knowledge, you know, what do you know about how gardening? Is, how do you get tomatoes? Oh, well, okay, uh, well, you have the soil. <laughs> what kind? Plow. Okay. Plow the soil, put fertilizer down. Okay. Right, and then you need... Well, this is based on the game. I, this the is game all, is pretty exact. Let's, let's right. line it up with him. All right, so um, <laughs> I take a hoe and I, okay. and I soil the ground, right? How do you soil the ground? With a hoe, you stick it in the ground, you go... With you know, the like sound you're effects. chopping onions. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm just doing the funny sound effects. Wait. In the game. No, it goes. Right. That is a very different game. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put the seed down. You come on the soil. Yeah. Right? And then you put fertilizer <laughs> down. Right. Then you water it every day in the game. And then, you know, some vegetables, they're all seasonal. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's. You know this is like so, a, a switch. You know what's so fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're playing a game with something you could do in real life. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the dumbest fucking thing ever. Shut up, man. No, but it's then. A good game. Hey, hey, let me show you my crops turn on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> but then you don't have to, like, get dirty and stuff. <laughs> you ruined his only joy in life, dog. <laughs> what are you doing? That's fucking crazy. Fuck you, man. Look, bro. He, he, <laughs> this. He grows one tomato. He thinks he's the shit, dog. Don't let him ruin that for you, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're. You, I'm not gonna go out buy farmland. But you clearly have an interest. Farmland? What is you have an? I interest. don't have no. I don't have an interest in farming. I have an interest in grinding. Ooh, Ooh I mean, what kind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In video games, there's two types of game. There's games where you grind. 
Mm. I'm playing a game called Elden Ring right now. It's so much grinding. It's like you just have to harvest, kill animals to get their th- bones to make arrows. So I'll spend 12 hours just killing animals repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. It's <laughs> called grinding. Uh. And, I, it, it, I, and I, when I'm de- like that, when I do that, I don't think about my sh- life. Uh. I don't think about my feelings. This out. is I'm checking terrible. <laughs> I know, but that's I'm, I know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. It's coping. I'm coping. I'm, it, it, but I would say like what David is saying, because like a lot of gardening is grinding. You have to check in every single day. You're doing very similar things. The thought process is identical. Mm. So I think you would actually feel a little bit more. I don't know, like love yourself a little bit more. If you had a tomato to harvest and be like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm, you know, self, you know, I'm sustainable. Like I am, I to can be live honest this with you, way. It's not even that deep. It's like, do I play this video game or I wash dishes? It's but, when, well, <laughs> but you don't wash dishes in real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if you, if you just played a game where it was like you shooting shit, you're like in a different galaxy. That makes sense to me because it's fucking fun as hell. But no, you're planting no, vegetables in a game? And this is how shallow minded and ridiculous you are right now. <laughs> I think, no, I, no, I'll tell you why. Because you think you, it's called Stardew Valley. It's not just a farming game. Whoa. There's mining, <laughs> right? There's mining. There's fishing. There's you. You, you, you marry. You have kids. You, you have make a farm. caviar. Everything you, you make caviar. Life. Oh yeah, because they have sturgeon. You make, you make caviar. You make caviar. Have you ever made caviar? You make caviar. You can. Oh my! But you, you don't. I haven't. Speaking You'll never. You'll never don't even play games. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, David. Um. Um. Put me on to this idea of getting um. Fried chicken skin and putting caviar on With top of it. With some creme on it. Oh, yeah, fire. girl, delicious. we did that on our podcast. Wait, wait, fried chicken right skin. This. Yeah, we could just go to like churches or some anywhere, Jolly Bee, or and get fried chicken skin. This so it. we we eat on our podcast together. I like potato chips <laughs> yeah. on my caviar. Oh, this is next level, dog. And creme s- s- fresh. So fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, wait, wait. Okay, go ahead. Pitch. I feel like I, don't do this with your hands. <laughs> you know what I mean? The place, are you a T Rex? What the I'm fuck is going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a kitten. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm. So we eat on our podcast together. We'll bring each other food. Well, you guys have a podcast? Yeah, it's called Dudes Behind the Foods. Uh huh. Um, because we we had a well, we do like a travel eat show, and uh, this is kind of like it started off as like behind the scenes of the show, but now it's just us like talking shit and eating together, right? So we'll bring each other food. And one day I was feeling a little fancy, so I ordered us some caviar and some uh, fucking fried chicken and some creme fraiche. And we took the skin and we put the creme fraiche and the caviar and mm. Oh my God. Wait, so wait, wait. wait. Is, is the skin dry so it's crispy? It's crispy. crispy. Yeah. No, it's like it's like right off the chicken. Fried too, chicken. Though. Yeah, yeah. We're just ripping it off. I'm, I can't imagine what that would taste like. Delicious. Have you had done it before? Is that a thing people so, have done? Dur- yeah, I, I had seen it on Instagram where someone just put creme fraiche and caviar on just a piece of fried chicken and mm. like, bit into it. Wow. And so we had, I brought it. Was it was like a thing during pandemic. Like a lot of chefy chefs were taking like your everyday food that you enjoy and then just upscale it with fancy shit but then the creme fraiche and the caviar with fried chicken skin mm. was the shit mm. wow i, I want to try that also um, like these both of them are like your ticket to the best food ever you guys go to um adam perry lang's uh, oh, that's pop-ups boy. all the that's time his boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm telling you if you've never seen david um david's stories on instagram it's all like drool worthy i feel like we're missing out <laughs> so you guys know where the legit places to they eat both is. Do, we do yeah. Oh, really? We do. Well, tell, so, so let me ask you something. What's the best Italian in LA? Best Italian? In LA. One of one of my favorites is a, a spot called Osteria Mozza. Delicious. Nancy yeah. Silverton. That's I just I, just, I go there. I, I enjoy that spot. That's pretty good. And they have, they have the occasional weird thing on there, like eating weird shit. Yeah, they have yeah, like yeah. you know, like a like a calf brain fucking ravioli. Okay. That I like to All right, legit, legit. How about you? <laughs> Indian food. Indian food in LA. Oh, that's kind Ooh, of I have hard, mine. man. There's this Ooh. joint out in Arcadia that I go to. What the fuck is that place called? Look at me. <laughs> Everybody in LA knows this spot. No, no. If you name me a restaurant, I feel like you're a phony. <laughs> <laughs> let me go look it up. No, 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 no. Don't look it up. No. He. Let me, that lady looks no, at me every I day. I don't give a fuck. And she goes. You've never been there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you don't even have teeth. How do you eat? <laughs> See, when somebody's up against a corner, sometimes they fucking take a knife out. And they stab <laughs> that was fucking fucked up. No, man. let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to say this on this podcast for the longest time. Go I ahead. talked to Stevie about this. Please get your teeth fixed. No. You, you like can chew with your gums. <laughs> <laughs> they work. No, they don't. Yes, they do. How do you go to Korean barbecue? You just there for eight hours. The first teeth, he goes... 
Yeah, no way. I, I break it down with my front teeth. Yeah. I have a system, dude. <laughs> break down with the system. Yeah, yeah, right? right? And then so I soften I, it with my gums. Um, You know um, Adam's Restaurant, um, the one in Hollywood? What? Oh, God, this is a really bad story. Adam, Adam, Adam Perry Lane. Oh, okay. Yes. APL? APL. No? APL. Um, we went there, <laughs> and um, I was like, hey, I don't think we should go to a steakhouse because, you know, your teeth, like, this is, you just don't have the technology. <laughs> in your mouth to, for, for steak. And he was like, don't embarrass me now. We're already here. <laughs> and so we got the steak and the steak was delicious. It was really tender. I was like, this is the most tender steak and he couldn't get through it. So he just ordered like a biscuit mm. and that's all he had for dinner. You know what I would really be dying sad. laughing? Biscuits are if good. in this game, you went to a dentist and fixed your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but in real life, you just absolutely <laughs> Do you know what they need to do? <laughs> they need to drill drill into my gums, into the bone. Yes. Take a screw out. Implants. Implants. I'm not doing all that. Yeah, but then. Listen. And they said that I have weak bones. Uh, oh. What? I, yeah, when I went to the I swear to God, when the dentist goes, right now your bones are so weak. You know why? Why is he roasting you? you? Dipping. <laughs> no, this what is way doing? before I was dipping. This is before. I've had weak bones. M Dr. Tunzi said this? Yeah. Yeah. This is a real. Person. You guys make up, make up. They, Dr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cartoonsy? No, not Tunzi. It was an other place that I went to. I Tunzi didn't say nothing. Like thirty of us have the same dentist. It's Dr. He's the Cartoonsy. best. He's Tunzi, the best. He's the then best. he could do it then. Yeah, he could do it. It's just I, they got a drill. I'm fine. I've learned to survive. But if your teeth are just. You watch like homeless people do it. <laughs> and yeah. I, I sit there and I watch them. I go to fucking the mission, <laughs> and I watch them eat, and I go, ah, oh, <laughs> do it right. You shred it with you're your just, fingers. You're just, <laughs> Watching these, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I can I tell yeah. you guys? It's kind of scary when I've seen him eat steak. Like, see, he sucks on the flavor and then he swallows it whole. You're yeah, that's and it oh, works. Like but you're not eating steak at your that point. Your stomach breaks it down. Well, <laughs> true. Your, your stomach grew teeth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's a death, you're a next level human. Yeah. yeah. Your stomach's like, oh God, steak night. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my, I don't want to talk about my teeth anymore. <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, leave me no, alone, man. I just want you to, you and your brother, please. Like he has no teeth too, huh? Yeah. What is going on with you guys? We're, we're toothless. <laughs> you're a Disney animation. Hey, hey, you're gonna hurt his fillings. Not, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have any. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. You could kind of wordplay, man. I, th you know, I, I, like I rap and yeah. I'm a dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, like both things. You know, you're better than dumbfounded. Ooh, oh, say it again. Shit, John, you know what's what? you gonna do, dog? <laughs> you right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I love John, but um. Yeah. You know, how, do you have guests on your podcast? Not, not the, um, not ours together. No. Yeah. Why? Just because it's just our thing, our special thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you should come on mine. My, I have a separate podcast. I'd love to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. I would yeah, love to do that'd it. That'd be great. You have your own genius. Yes, brain? genius. How brain. many episodes in? Three hundred and seventy-three. You have guests on yours? Ooh. Not much. I have the same reoccurring people. Mm. Mm. So come on, mine. I'll come on yours. You have guests on yours? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> What's no, wrong? I, Are we good? I, no, we're good. It's just I feel like you're gonna say something, and I'm just getting ready. <laughs> yeah, your whole body. Got I'm like, tense. I'm sweating right now. No, you, I'm a nice I, guy. I did set you up because I was like, how many episodes? I know. And, and no like, Bobby Eel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it's because I'm always. Do, 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 do. It's, it's fine. <laughs> no, I love <laughs> Margaret. You love everybody else. No, mm. you're my favorite. Uh huh. Mm. You are literally <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You walked, <laughs> so I could run. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, and you. Show me the light when I was in the forest. <laughs> keep going, keep going. And you yeah. were the deer in the forest that I shot that gave me nutrition to live. Yeah. Wow. And you are the fatty and now a fucking beauty. <laughs> Is that even? <laughs> and you <laughs> yeah. should get teeth because so you could choose steak. That's negative. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> not. We were no, doing the not. positive thing. See? Now you always go negative. No, no, no. Thing. You didn't let me finish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please fix your teeth. That's it. No. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to enjoy food. I enjoy it. Trust me, I enjoy it. <laughs> you guys, he doesn't want to talk about his teeth anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I, uh, I've challenged myself. <laughs> it's a challenge, dude. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I respect you even more now, which yeah, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, he had a really bad, like the itchiest athlete's foot for like years and years. What's and going the, on reason, with you? the reason that he would never get it fixed, because we obviously we a lot of things he could put on it, yeah. he's like, I like scratching it. Like, it's oh, a hobby. It's a hobby. But uh, I've changed that. I don't scratch anymore. My feet are fucking perfect. Well, yeah, because we broke <laughs> up and you needed to find regular girls. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm abstinent. Well, can I just say a thing about the bus? We have this kid, McCone. You know McCone? Uh, no, I don't. So, you know, it's Brendan Dermer. Oh, yes. So it's his buddy. And he's a 23-year-old kid. 
and we're on a tour bus. Have you been on a tour bus? You've been on a tour bus, right? I've been on a, I, I haven't toured on a tour bus, but yeah. <laughs> this is my first time really on my own tour bus. And you know, I've been in business for a long time. What's the matter? That's dope. It's dope. How can we talk about this? <laughs> I, 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 I don't like, know, man. There's no, that look was like Tom Segura and Brooke Crash have been doing it for years. No, no. That's what that nod was. No, what was it? <laughs> Was it? Yeah, yeah, you're shaming me. It's fine. No, it's I'm not. just starting to do it. You keep attacking him, and now he's scared. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. He's been attacking me since the jump. <laughs> no, I haven't. So, Lee, here's... <laughs> so, <laughs> so, there's this kid that we have. We don't know him, right? but we love him now. But um, And he's on the bus. He's our videographer. Mm. 23 years old. But he has night terrors. Mm. Oh, he does. 5.30 in the morning. This is, not kidding you. No! No! Stop! Like every morning, it's like you know some people have fucking roosters yeah. to wake them up. We have this guy. Oh God! Right, and you know we tell he goes, oh, no, I had a great child. No, you were brutally something. Sheesh! Something happened to you brutally. Mm. Right, right, uh, right. Night terrors. I think night terrors is more of like a sleep disorder, though. But why is he always screaming? Don't touch me and all that because kind of stuff. Because you, when you're in your like uh. dream state, like you're just not. You know, you're in sleep. You're, so you're in physical paralysis, but yeah. your mind is still active. So it's not like you can physically. But every morning, it's ne it's always ne well. Then if that was the case, it would be sometimes you would be like, "I love this cloud. It's so fluffy, <laughs> mm -hmm. right?" But it's never. It's always aggressive. No, I get like night episodes. You know this, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's because I was like diddled as like a child, and it happened a lot in like the middle of the night. Yeah. But, so I like I wake up and I get the heart episodes and all of that. But sometimes I think some sleep disorders are just sleep disorders. It's more of like a brain issue. Do you guys like my haircut? It's so cute. Not being real. I love it. Did Johnny do it? Yeah, I love him. Well, I yeah. can't see with the uh, show him the back. <clears throat> I like the mullet. The Your hair is so it's just really full. Full. Yeah, I debate These doing the mullet fuckers, sometimes. Man. You guys have such nice hair. So do you. Thanks. No, it's very thin. Like, it's, it's just receding. Fine. Okay, no, it's not. It's <laughs> not doing that. Attack. It's not doing that. <laughs> I, I look, this is why I'm always tense. Can I tell you, you, can I tell you why I know? <laughs> no. Can I tell you what, no, why I know? And, I, and, I, I, and, and you can say whatever you want to say to defend yourself. And I love you as a human being. I think you're so talented, and I think you're a great guy. I really I do. I trust you. I don't, don't want to hear anything right? about it. But I, the lights are shining through your hair. I have very And you have hair. very thin hair in the front. It's I've receding. always had this since I was It's kidding. receding. No, it's, it's not. not. Receding. And you're going to go receding. bald in the next 10 years, and we're not going to laugh. Well, you want to be. Okay, you know you behind want, your back. you're going to go to Turkey. <laughs> and I'm going to get the And thing you're going to get the FQE. Yeah, or TJ. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And why do you do this to me? Listen, I can I I honestly, I honestly... I didn't know you were coming today. <laughs> I texted George. I go, are we potting today? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And I kind of was laying in bed. I go, who's the guest? And when I found out it was you two, I got excited to do it. Aww. And um, because I really think that, you know, I don't, I don't like fucking with people that I don't think have talent. Mm -hmm. Really? I think That's mean. No, I, I say hi. <laughs> no, I no, I say hi to them. I go, how's your day, I, I or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go hello. You know I mean? um, but in terms of like, you know, um, doing creative things with them, I like to do it with really talented people. And um, I think you guys are so good. And I've always liked you guys. Can Thanks, you take, man. Can you take us on your food trips? Oh, oh yeah, um, you should definitely pull up for a food episode. Hell yeah. Did you do a fucking question? All right, we got one from uh, Jeremy D. Garcia, uh, or actually Santiago Ponito. This is any advice for a Latino who wants to date an Asian woman? <laughs> <laughs> He's dated a lot of uh, Latinos, Latinas. I have, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, I feel like my advice would be uh, just make sure the dad thinks you're funny. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pull. I, I feel like you can always get away with a good sturdy handshake. Pull up your pants, sturdy handshake does a lot. Mm -hmm. Um... Make sure you drink with the family. Eat everything the mom serves you up. I think that's key. Get blackout drunk with the family. It's very yeah, bonding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's like in every culture. I, I, yeah, you, got, you gotta, say. you gotta be nice to the parents. Mm -hmm. I'm my, I'm, I'm at my best. I wake up at eight a.m. <laughs> I feel like parents really like you. Yeah, I do. I lie. I, I don't know what star do is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, well, we heard you play it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, he does I this thing. I think you do almost immediately. You called your in laws like mom or mama. Mm. I start doing that. Really? You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. You want me to get the baking powder? 
Mama, <laughs> you turn into like, 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 <laughs> they're like they're like we're not cooking anything right now. And Mama. you know how like moms love to be moms, right? They yeah. so yeah. he takes on the helpless role almost immediately. Mm. Poops his pants. Yeah. He does that. So like my mom, honestly, she got suckered in because she's like Bobby needs me. Oh wow. yeah. So You're... he played that psychological game. Really I like to hard. like so slap good. the mom on the butt and like I'm like, Mama, <laughs> Mama Sita. Oh, oh hey, Mama Sita, uh, Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Very freaking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you play music for for them as well? What do you mean? Because you're a musician as well. Can you bring a piano? <laughs> no, I'm not. What are you talking, talking about? Laxton Superb. Yeah, I play for the keyboards, <laughs> but I don't carry on a keyboard and go, hey, let me, can I set this up in the living room? <laughs> no, but I feel like you would just kind of pretend like you don't know how to play. Yeah, like, oh, what is like, this? this what is this? And then you just fucking start going I, I, at it. Yeah, I've done, I've done that before. I've done that before until um, I did it once where some other guy was 10 times better than me. <laughs> And he goes, check this out. And he did Rachmaninoff. And I was like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> and you're doing ding, 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 No, I, um, no. Like chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very generous too, you know. Anyway. <laughs> What's the next question? Oh, that's uh, a good tip. Oh. Be like extra generous with oh. the family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one's from Abstract Spirit. How do I tell my wife that her makeup is terrible and it makes her look like a clown? Partners, you both have partners. I know what. You wear the same makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, you look like Hell the, look you good. look like the Joker. And then you ask. You yeah. ask you're me. doing it. I'm gonna do it. That's so good. How would you like? But yeah, go ahead. How what would you, you tell do? your wife if you were, you weren't? You know, it's just a little off. Okay, let's suppose she <laughs> always just wore makeup like pretty regularly, but you always liked it. But she's following this new trend that's mm. just like. You know, not landing quite the same. Ah, oh, man, that's tough. I'm, I, okay, okay, I, I, I'm Chia. Okay. Okay, and then this is your. You just woke up, we right? But I've been out doing my, and I'm gonna turn around and you see the new makeup. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a brand new girl. I'm horny. Wait. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, oh shit. Uh, that's what you do. <laughs> Dude, this is you terrible. Would never do that. You would never do that. This is me just waking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, first of all, I'd be like, why? Why do you have? This is a confusing scenario because why would she? Why would I just be waking up with a whole? Thing <laughs> it doesn't makeup? matter. It's my world. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I'd be like, babe. Uh, oh, you got. You that, fucking hate me. Is that Shut the, the right hell up. Color? I hate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would do that, Tim. Your turn. What? Have I ever worn like such extreme makeup? And you're like, oof. Well, no. It, well, you didn't wear makeup a lot. And when you did, I noticed it. Do okay. it again. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Great Wall is that way. <laughs> very good callback. Very, I do very, it very good. Okay. Call. Good morning. How do you like my makeup? I did something new. Do you like it? Yeah, it's it's all right. <laughs> mm, you I mean, I, I mean, I don't know much about makeup and stuff. So I don't know. Like, but why are you stuttering though? It sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. It looks ridiculous. We're in a no, band. It's okay. No, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they would do, right? Yeah, I don't, okay, I don't but care. There's a, was there ever a scenario or a time where like you did not like my cho choice in clothing or you didn't like the way I did my hair or my Well, makeup? sometimes, okay, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Sometimes you're like, um, you dress like a court gesture. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's so intense. So not clown. The, the, word, clown the word is jester. Jester, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like you know, you know, like in a circus gesture, but like that's her like, had no, little no, no. belt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those types. Those types. He's making fun like of the like, pants with the you know what you know what I mean that have that like red and <laughs> like a red and pink stripe through it. Bobby, that's full projection. Oh, you are Mr. See, fucking. You're, you know, it's so funny. Why are you getting so defensive right now? No, because I thought we both had Ajuma style. We do. I dress like what gestures. And as also, well. we share the same clothes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that. I'm not making fun of you. Love the backpedaling. He's saying you dress like me, <laughs> <laughs> and I dress like an idiot. <laughs> Push it. Back. Don't get so you know. It's dressed as a court jester. Just in this kind of comedy, it's a comedy show. It's a comedy show. It's a was comedy. there ever oh, a time? Shit. Was there ever a time where you were like, God, I wish you would dress up more? Because I'm always in sweatpants. No, like, I mean no makeup. I think the one time we were at, <laughs> See, I, 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 you gotta be honest. I gotta hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, go ahead. There was another time where we were at, like, um, we went to Jordan Peele's uh, No P premiere, uh -huh. and then we had to go to Zaha because you didn't think you were dressed good enough. Oh no! This we got Zara? to the premiere, oh, and I was dressed down, down. Like I was mm. wearing just jeans and just like a a, a vintage shirt, just like this, mm. but with jeans. 
And then we got there and then there was a red carpet and I was like, I'm oh, so embarrassed wow. that I'm with Bobby mm. and I'm dressed this like dowdy. Yeah, but we're not no going to effort. McDonald's. I mean, so I went across the street. <laughs> the only thing across the street was a Zara. So then I brought, I Zaha. bought Zaha. Zaha. Okay, Now it makes more sense. I'm what, sorry. I say, what did I say? You said Zaha. Zaha. So I, I, like, thought, I thought it was like some celebrity club. shit that I wouldn't Me know too. about. I was like, oh, this is some high fashion shit. Yeah, I was like, well, there's a soccer player named Zaha. I don't know. Oh. No, so, shit. We, are, we just pretend like we knew. We're like, yeah, Zaha. Where, where? Zaha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Zaha. I made him walk across the street because I was so embarrassed. I was like, fuck, because he was like, go casual. It's a small thing. Mm. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, girls hate that, by the way. And so, um, and same, I had like probably Crocs on yeah, or some yeah, shit yeah. like that. And so I dragged him to Zara. And I got some slacks and a proper like shirt, and then I felt a little bit better. Yeah. And then we put all your clothes in a bag, and then you made me carry it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah. the whole yeah. time? Yeah, I was like, oh, what, what does Bobby have a Ralph's bag? <laughs> I have a Zaha bag. Zaha bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was I was pretty embarrassed. You're right. Like I, I that was so, my. Well, what about me? Have I dressed in a way where you're yeah, like? Yeah, sometimes oh, that's weird. you wear certain shirts, like little baseball tees, you know, with a um. Like white here and the oh, the red. Are red. Oh, and it makes you look oh, yeah, like you're you already have short arms. It makes you extra T Rexy. <laughs> and I remember thinking like like I think about my own like, <laughs> genetics of being very broad shouldered. See how lo cocky long arm people are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Did an you that? That's, of mine. That's long arm privilege. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's I, fucking bullshit. So I come from long limb lineage. <laughs> you have short okay? arms, right, Tim? Uh, they're not long, that's for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So those shirts, I think you should do away with. You're like a little boy. Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, your proportions are cute. I uh, thank you. So you started with the court jester thing, and then she already had something loaded up for you. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, when you say court jester, she was like, oh, "All right, you little fucking." I, I saw her loading the shotgun. Yeah, you yeah. little fucking short arm motherfucker. <laughs> and she went, yeah. 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 You know, I deserve it. I deserve no, it. No, to be yeah, fair, yeah. I do dress like a Corchester. I go full um, power clashing with the colors a lot. Yeah, it's cool. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your short arms, though? <laughs> That's something you cannot change. Me, I could just take it off, right? <laughs> oh, my God. You'll see. We're going to train, right? Yeah. I'm going to look fucking Dude, I can't Ooh. fucking wait. You'll see. That's going to be so dope. But see, yeah. you just announced it. Oh, oh, and that, now you got the dope. Now I got the dope. Now you got the Because I'm not going to actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to do it. I, we have to actually do it now. We have to do it. We have to do it. Now I did it too because oh, on our podcast, we've been doing it for like three years. Yeah. I've said I was going to have a six pack. And it hasn't happened. Yeah, yeah. same. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. yeah. But right. I feel like you, David, you look amazing. You look great. But you did look amazing before. I'm just saying, like, if that oh, was. Oh, I did not. I've seen videos. Because now you look like fuckable. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There are times where like, even his, his wife, like, she didn't meet me <laughs> at 300 pounds. And so when she saw a video of me in the past, she goes, what is that? <laughs> she goes, I had no idea. <laughs> so who is this? Yeah. So well, Gilbert was like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. We're both. Let's he was go. a fatty. Yeah. 240. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Speaking of my wife, what time is it? I should probably. Yeah. Oh, you can stay. I got to get out of here because, like, she's alone with the babies. So yeah. I got to go. <laughs> but y'all yeah, can keep talking. I think we're done. I think oh, we're, we're done. We're done. We're, we're done. done. We're done. We're done. I don't want to stop you guys. We got to take a photo. We got to take a photo. Okay, okay. So thanks, Tim. And we ruined the flow. Thanks, Tim. Jesus Christ. Promote anything. YouTube, really quick. Uh, Yeah, youtube.com slash Timothy. Our podcast is on there. Dudes Behind the Foods. Dudes Behind the Foods. And Genius Brain Podcast. Makabalo